Hello, welcome back to Drew's Lab and today we're going to look at this Conatec thermal imager with built-in rangefinder or LRF, laser rangefinder. I'm going to turn it around a wee second just so you can see the old laser rangefinder here. Um, it has a laser rangefinder out from 5 to 1000 metres with um, the accuracy plus or minus 1 metre. Now, if I'm going to turn it around again, you can see here it's similar to other ones that are on the market. It is a bit larger, but the good point about it is here is the, the rangefinder is below rather on the side than on some of the other ones that we've seen. So therefore, if you're left-handed or right-handed, it's ambidextrous. The strap can be moved around. Um, it is very accurate. The button for the rangefinder is here. You just press it on and it will range. You can do a short range or you can do a, a scan range, which we're, once the crosshair is up, However, one of the downsides that I did find about it is when you record, it doesn't show you the range on the recording, which is a bit of a bummer, really. But the rangefinder is very good and it's very easy to use. It's very ambidextrous. We'll just quickly look at the controls. The on-off switch is here and it's got standby. You just press it in for the standby. You've got your diopter focus, your menu buttons, your two arrow keys there. Um, your lens is here. 35mm lens, I believe there's a 50mm version of this, but this is a 35 It's got a 384 by 288 sensor. It's 50 hertz and 17 micron. However, it is less than 35 mm key sensitivity, and it is quite sharp, which is a big bonus. The base mag is 2.7, and it has got, it doesn't have a step zoom, but you can have a smooth zoom using the arrow keys. Here and here, it's 2.7, and then you press the back one to zoom it up, and it goes right up to 10.6 mag. It comes, it's got a 28 gig memory, and it's that's quite big. Now, the battery life, I've been using it for four, five hours just now. Charged it up when I got it, it's still 85%. You have to put the Wi Fi on, mind you, to use the recording or the picture feature. Um, it comes, it's got colour palettes, it's got blue, red hot, black hot, um, all the usual ones and I, a heat red, which I find very good. So we're going to tag on some videos and you can make your own mind up. As I say, I was a bit disappointed. The rangefinder is excellent on it and it's very, very easy to use. It's in a great ambidextrous position because the button there for the on off and it's there. However, what I did feel is I was a bit disappointed that it didn't show it in the recording, but it's not really a huge big deal. But it is very, very accurate. And as you can see there, it is very compact and it fits in the pocket quite nice. So I'll tag some videos onto this video and you can have a wee look at it. Thanks for watching.